my vlog this week is a little combo of a dog walk with Natalie, Elsie and Lex and uh, it's a nice Zara haul just showcasing some of the items that are in at the moment and what suits like body shape what doesn't and obviously we've got a heat wave so it's a bit more of a summer summer collection and then just ending I went on a lovely afternoon tea with my friend Laura uh, we went to Warwickshire I really hope you like this week's if you haven't subscribed already please press subscribe below I'd love it if you could give us a little like or a comment to boost the engagement on YouTube Oh, there's Elsie. Oh. Wow. Come on. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Look how overgrown it is. It's got crazy, hasn't it? It's like that bit as well, so bad. Someone, was it you that told me about the bees? No. Oh, apparently they're overgrowing it because they want to get bees. Oh, I think that makes sense. <laughs> but I quite like to come over here. Yeah, me too. Come on. Lexi! How lush is this weather? Good girl. Wait. wait. Stay. Wait. Good girl. Hey guys. I'm going to do my first unboxing and clothes try on with you from Zara. I love Zara at the moment. I rediscovered it last year and even though their website is the worst website to navigate, and I always have issues and it takes so long and it's hard to search for things. I don't know if anyone else has found this. So if you've had the same problem, pop a little message in. I personally, I don't really like the Zara store in Milton Keynes. Um, it's quite dark and it, it's almost a bit of a jumble sale. Even though I love their clothes, the men's section upstairs is fine and like other Zara's I've been to but yeah if you've been to the MK one um, it's really hot in there as well whenever I try stuff on I get really like aggy and it's too much but anyway last time last couple of times I've gone to the store you're not allowed to try things on in there so I thought I'll just do one at home so yeah um, I've got a picnic to go to and it's a wear all white so yeah, when you're pale, wearing all white is uh, not not ideal. I mean, how do you get into these? I know there's a, like a really, I'm sure there's like a clever way. And I don't know it. Maybe not. So, yeah, I'm going to try on. I've got, also got a hen do to go to at the end of June. So, I need to find an outfit for that. So, wish me luck. I'm obsessed with these bucket bags at the minute. And I found one with some black on it. I think that's really nice. It's a little bit smaller than the other one I've got. And it's got a sh shoulder crossbody strap. And also top handle so this is amazing I'm really pleased with this look black interior so it doesn't get so dirty and yeah so this was $25.99 I'm definitely going to keep this because obviously like with um, trying to help the environment at the minute not buying plastic bags I love to have these just to throw in my car 
if I'm going to like the shop to pick up some food or yeah just a little day out or go out walk with the dog I can throw the keys my phone dog treats a bottle of water in the summer because um, she gets hot so yeah I'm definitely keeping this I'm really pleased with this Thanks. if you've seen I've got a few of these I wore one in my first solo vlog and I've pretty much got it in every colour they do these are just so handy um, the, the, the quality of the material it's double layered um, around your chest and it's a bodysuit so you can wear it with jeans, shorts, skirt um, and it's $14.99 I get a medium in these and um, yeah, it just, just fits. Um, but the material washes so amazing. Um, I will definitely get, there was a baby blue color, but it was out of stock. So I'll definitely pick up that. And I just thought orange is a good all round color, really. Perfect. I thought I would get another, another bodysuit in white, slightly different. Just because you can never have enough white things white tops for the summer and um, so we'll see how this goes it's got a slightly different neckline this is a potential top for the picnic or hen do so I'll see how that goes this was an accidental find I actually clicked on it by accident and then realized I quite liked it but this could be a total total hit or miss because it's a little bit different for me and I think it's a linen it's a linen mix so yeah I will see how that goes oh my goodness I don't oh wow is that a dress that looks so short <gasps> that looks so short for me wow yeah this was a potential for the picnic this was a skirt option for the picnic so it's got a ruched front and a slit up the side. So, and I thought, just so I've got my legs covered up potentially. And this is, I love polka dots. So this is a potential for the Hindu. But once again, that looks really short as well. I think Zara is like Spanish and maybe Spanish people are a little bit shorter than us. I'm not sure. Oh, this is, I love, I'm obsessed with this colour at the minute. I absolutely adore this colour. So I'm thinking I need to go grab a belt to try on with this because this is risky. I know some people pull these off amazing, but I, I've got like quite curvy hips and bum and otherwise I just look like I'm wearing a tent. I would have bought more, but the website was doing some crazy things. It kept taking me to the Spanish version. And by this point, I, I couldn't, I had enough. So yeah, Zara, take, take notice. Not that you'll be watching, but um, maybe all, all our complaints will be heard at some point. So yeah. Okay, this is dress number one. It is actually really cute, but it is way too big. Oh, like, and um, on the back, it's like hanging. But then it fits me quite nicely around the waist and hips. Digging in too much, I don't know. I feel like even if I just had the straps taken up, it might look all right. But, so this is a medium, but maybe because it's quite stretchy, I could have gone for the small. <laughs> like, yeah, I might, I might try and get the small because I actually really like that. I like the way, you know, like the stripes. So I don't, I don't normally like anything that sort of cuts off like this. I just love the colour and I love this little frilly bit here. I love the fact that, you know, you could just throw on a jacket when it's colder 
and obviously you've got this if it's cold but if it's hot it's nice and floaty so yeah I feel like I'm going to order a small okay so this is a bit of a shame I kind of thought this would be flattering and I don't think it is and one it's way too small on my bum it is giving me the flattest bum ever so yeah <laughs> there's no stretch in this this is a medium and this absolutely does not fit but I know like the large would would not fit at all so the bodysuit fits it's also a medium it's a little bit it's a little bit tight but I suppose that's what you want you don't want it baggy at all so yeah that's perfect but obviously just not with this it shows every lump and bump and is way too see-through for my liking just need some nude pants and the straps once again are a little bit loose so I think they look a little bit better, a little bit higher up. Nice little cutout detail. You can see my little tattoo. Um, yeah, and it's, do you know what? It's actually really nice and thick and stretchy material. Like, it's not, for a white, it's not particularly see-through, which I love. Um, so yeah, it's really cute, actually. And this is a medium, and as you can see, it's got loads of give. So yeah, it's quite a nice size, you don't want it too tight. Sliders, you could wear a little shawl or like, yeah, if you was on holiday. I love play suits because they're just so much better. I feel like sitting on the floor. Um, so yeah, I don't know without a belt. I'll show you without a belt actually. I don't know if it's that flattering on me, even though it is, does fit quite nice but I think it's just it is comfy but yeah I just I just don't think it looks that great I really really like this one because I love this colour and two it's just oh so it just feels so nice and the back's really lovely it's adjustable as well and um, yeah it's just really nice and summery and um, if I went to the beach I could wear this I do need to figure out the um the I need to tighten it up at the back a little bit but yeah with the belt and some flip-flops is cute little pub lunch outfit, beach outfit, holiday outfit and I shall show you without the belt. So I know some people would wear that like that and it's actually not as bad as I thought. This was, this was a medium and this was $29.99. Of course I love this top because I have it in so many colours already from last year. Like you can dress it up, dress it down. I don't have to wear any underwear with it. I just, I just get little nipple covers. Um, just because on me these come quite low, so if I had a bra, it would you'd see it. So I can wear these in winter, summer, all year round. I can make them casual, chuck on cardigan, a denim jacket. I could put jeans with them. I could put heels and. They're just so versatile and honestly they wash so amazing look like you don't get any like lumps or bumps anywhere so no wonder they fought these out again because these are just the dream oh no i don't think i'm gonna be able to get away with this one it doesn't quite fit me right here i think it just cuts in too much on me so yeah, it's because I've got a short, short body here I think, 
uh, as I've got quite long legs. Um, oh yeah, that's, that's a bit annoying because this would have been perfect. Look how cute the uh, beach bag is. It's perfect. Well, actually it's 10 past 12. It's Sunday, I've just finished working. I don't normally wear this kind of outfit to work, but I'm actually going straight for afternoon tea. I'm going to the Laura Ashley Hotel in Coventry and having the Laura Ashley afternoon tea. So I'm meeting my friend Laura. I met her when I was at Northampton University studying my history masters and she lives in Wolverhampton. So we end up like trying to meet in the middle somewhere. So normally Warwick or Coventry. Um, yeah, that's our normal stomping ground. So it'd be really nice. And I haven't done afternoon tea in so long, obviously, because everywhere's been shut. So yeah, I've just finished work. This is my little brow area. I have just shut the shutters. Um, so normally they're open and I'm got some bleach wipes out and things as I'm just doing a little clean down I've been working this morning up nice and early um, feeling fresh I'm gonna do my hair when I get there because I'm wearing a headband and they always dig in um, so yeah it's about an hour or so drive so I'm gonna leave in about five minutes but yeah this is the salon that I work in in Milton Keynes it's called forever gorgeous um, I love these little flowers yeah, I'm going to show you the little sign they've got in here as well. They've got like a double peddy station. A beautiful little sign. This is my little retail trolley. My eyebrow queen stuff. So yeah, I've just been doing brows all morning. Um, nice, nice and early. Lots of lovely clients. Um, and they all rebook like four weeks time. So all the same ones again. Uh, on a Sunday and like... A month's time so it's perfect absolutely love my job my clients are so lovely um yeah except on tuesday this week when a few people cancelled on the day and i think i know why because the sun was shining um so i do kind of get it but um yeah normally like no 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 problems at all no bother at all so yeah, I will take you to afternoon tea. So just done a quick makeup today. Eyeshadow, bit of pink um, liquid eyeliner on the edges to shadow, to shadow my eyes. And well, I haven't actually done my brows yet, but I did wax them this morning. So I might go and see if I need to put any eyebrow queen stuff on. Hi, I'm just waiting for my friend Laura. And I just wanted to jump on and show you my my bag, my Zara bag that I purchased. I absolutely love it. Goes so well with my outfit. I've got black um, open toe like sandals on, and I've got my black headband. Um, yeah, so the journey was super super like empty. But can I just say, has anyone else noticed this since going back to like driving places? People seem to drive slow in the fast lanes at the moment. I've always driven like far, long distance and like fine. But there was four lanes and the two slow lanes were empty and the two fast lanes were like packed and, and like not doing even the speed limit. So I don't know if anyone else has noticed this. Like why? What has happened? Um, yeah. I just heard a really good song and I can't remember the people that sing it. They didn't actually say on the radio. I think it's the guy that sings, I'm in Budapest. And the the lyrics to the song just rang true. Something about living in these times is really tough if you're an overthinker. And I was like, I always think this. I always feel really sorry kids, teenagers that are growing up in society with social media. And yeah, I'm an overthinker and I've, you know, struggled with it in my life. And even now I'm just still trying to find like 
coping mechanisms and understanding myself more and my mind but yeah for youngsters I was like I always feel a bit sorry for them like obviously not everyone's like that but yeah I just thought those lyrics are so true so I don't know if anyone else has heard it um yeah but anyway the sun has finally come out it was pretty much raining the whole journey even though I was absolutely boiling um but yeah it looks like it's come out so I uh will take some little videos and show you guys This is lovely. You've not been here before, no? No. Um, I'd heard of the Laura Ashley Hotel, but I didn't realise the tea room was in the hotel. Yeah, there's one in the Lake District as well, isn't there? I've heard of. Yeah, very cute. I just want to finish by saying how lovely the afternoon tea was if you're looking for somewhere to take a friend or family or a loved one definitely recommend literally can't fault it it was absolutely stunning so easy to get to and really good value for money so yeah um, I think there's quite a few Laura Ashley afternoon teas popping up around the country I um I know there's one actually closer to me in Buckingham so I might give that one a try at some point but uh, I don't know about you but afternoon tea like once you've had one you don't want one for a little while as it's obviously um, I don't really like cakes I love the like sandwiches and the scones and the jam and the tea but the cakes I never eat have a lovely week and tune in to Natalie on Thursday as well she also hit 10,000 followers on Instagram, so thanks so much, and uh, that's amazing. I will um, link down our Instagrams below as well if you want to have a little nosy. Mine is my work page, so all things beauty on there, and Natalie's is her home page. All things home interiors, cooking and cleaning. Have a lovely week.